Hi, this is Jeff from Media, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the coolest new features in Avid Pro Tools 11, Offline Bounce. This is probably one of the most anticipated features in a long time for Avid to integrate into Pro Tools. Basically, what I'm talking about is historically, you always had to do a real-time bounce, meaning if the song was five minutes, that bounce would take five minutes long. Now that most other DAWs have actually had Offline Bounce for quite a long time, Avid has joined the party, thankfully. So we're going to go over how this works. And it's pretty simple. First of all, we're going to go to the File, drop-down menu, Bounce to Disk. That's Control-Alt-B on a PC, Command-Option-B on a Mac. We've got our bounce source here, which is the usual. You can either bounce from a bus, an output, or a physical output. If you're on an HD rig, you can actually do up to 16 simultaneous stereo pairs. So that's kind of cool. Another cool addition is the add MP3 parameter that you can turn on there. This enables you not only to bounce your song offline as a high quality WAV file, but also simultaneously output an MP3 with bit resolution settings of your choosing at the same time. Big time saver. So we've got the typical format, whether we're doing stereo, mono, bit depth, sample rate, some other cool features. Some of these are fairly new, add to iTunes library. Uh, enforce media composer compatibility. Those are all fairly new items that just give you different options at Mixdown. We can also share directly with two of the most popular web services for sharing your music online, SoundCloud and Gobbler. If you don't know about those, you definitely should look them up. Finally, we've got our file name and where it's going to, where the directory is. So we'll choose a directory. Bounce files is a new folder in Pro Tools sessions that automatically gets made. And as you can see, by default, Pro Tools was aiming this mix to the Bounce Files folder. I'm just gonna put it at the root, hit use current folder, and then of course, the main attraction, the offline box. You have to make sure you check this or it will bounce in real time. So we check that, start the bounce. And now it's going to bounce down. As you can see, we're at several times the speed of real time. And it's giving a read out there of how many minutes and seconds long the song is and how much longer it's estimating it'll take to bounce it. So there's a big savings. We're down to, you know, between one to two minutes as opposed to five and 33 seconds. Huge time saver in the studio, especially if you're frequently updating your mixes and needing a bounce of that. This is a huge time saver. So hope you guys enjoy the video. This is Jeff from Ovidia. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.